Last week, we told you about the Department of Justice's findings that Frederick County Public Schools extensively misuse seclusion and restraint against students with disabilities. And new tonight, WDVM Cheyenne Corin spoke with the parent who's speaking out about what she says happened to her son in one of those classrooms and is also working with the DOJ in this case. Take a listen. And they call it the quiet room. It's a padded closet. Christy Kimmel is the mother of now 14 year old Zeke, who was autistic and nonverbal. He started at Rock Creek School in 2017. And according to documents from Christy, Zeke was being secluded or restrained up to 12 times in a day. In another instance, the legal maximum time for seclusion is 30 minutes. According to his mom, Zeke was secluded for 29 minutes, taken out, and then put right back in. He doesn't have a voice. He couldn't say, I was terrified. I was, uh, he, and that's what breaks my heart is that I, I had no way of knowing what was going on with him except for these papers that I was getting him. The DOJ report states that this unlawful use of seclusion and restraint led to heightened distress and denied students access to a safe and positive learning environment. Kimmel says this was certainly the case with Zeke, which is why she contacted the Disability Rights of Maryland to advocate for her son to no longer be restrained or secluded. He loved going to school. It went from him being happy, grabbing his backpack, putting on his shoes, ready to go to school, to him shutting the door, crying, not wanting to go, and then um, he started hitting himself. During a recent closed session Board of Education meeting, Superintendent Terry Albin acknowledged the need for improvement, said they've already begun working on it. However, she also said the issue was more nuanced than the DOJ presented it to be. These comments in an email sent to the community have caused some to call for her resignation. I am absolutely disgusted that she would even set, like come to think that uh, our children aren't as important as every other child. Now part of this settlement offers counseling and makeup sessions, but Kimmel says she's still waiting to hear exactly how hundreds of hours of learning opportunities will be made up for. Now Zeke, he's in non-public placement at the Arrow Center, which his mom says has completely restored his joy of going to school. I'm reporting in Maryland. I'm Cheyenne Corinne for WDVM 25. Cheyenne, thank you for that report. Now, to get you both sides, we did reach out to the school system for comment on this specific case. They chose not to make a public comment, although the school system said they thought they had more time to communicate to their community about these findings before the report was released.